Hello Detox Tribe, what's going on, what's going on? Today I would love to talk about deodorant. What kind of deodorant do you use? I asked the question in the Facebook group, asked the question, what deodorants do you use? Many have toxins like aluminum and soy. So what kind of community? Okay, so I'm Lily and then I'm the creator of Facebook community Detox Naturally as well as Detox Your Liver Naturally course. Um, if you're not part of the community, I strongly suggest subscribe because it's super powerful. I mean, I love the people in that community, especially women, a lot of women, smart, amazing, beautiful women that share a lot of knowledge. We learn from each other, we empower each other. I just love the community. I don't know how it's formed, how it's created, but it's just an amazing community. It's the community, it's go on Facebook, if you're not on Facebook, detox, uh, no, actually, let's uh, get, let's go back, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash detox naturally, so facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash detox naturally, that's the uh, group. So I asked the question, okay, and I got a lot of answers. I want to um, record all this information in this video. I want to capture all this because it's going to just go away and then I want to have it here, um, archive it. So um, this is the thing. We are bombarded with toxins, uh, but we are not bombarded with nutrients. That's the thing. So it's extremely important what we put in, what we eat, what we put on our skin. Yeah, it's, it's important what we drink, how we breathe, the air we breathe. But it's crucial what we get rid of, what we detox. It's extremely important because this is the thing. If we put in a lot of toxins, then the liver gets overwhelmed, cannot detoxify, and then it interferes and affects everything. Our heart, our brain, blood lymphatic system, skin, so on and so forth. Very important to detox. And detoxing means getting rid of toxins. So, again, we are bombarded with toxins, but not with nutrients. So in order to um, store nutrients, we get to get rid of the toxins and chemicals and insecticides, pesticides that are everywhere in the soil. That's why I asked the question. What deodorant do you use? Because many of them, many of deodorants have a lot of toxins, especially aluminum and soy. And this is the problem with aluminum. aluminum. Aluminum is a heavy metal that interferes with the brain. It causes Alzheimer, dementia, depression, anxiety. So aluminum is bad news, okay? Now aluminum is found in pots and pans and in our uh, food and in the packages uh, that we you know pack our food so that's why it's very important to really kind of like uh, cook from the scratch and know your food where it's coming from and don't just eat processed food cook from the scratch with whole whole foods now aluminum is in um, deodorants right and if you think about and this is the thing uh, many years ago I did a hair analysis test because um, I remember I was detoxing from heavy metal, especially mercury, because I had a lot of uh, mercury fillings in my mouth. So I needed to see where I am. Um, and then what happened, they found, of course, uh, high levels of mercury, but not only that, they found high levels of aluminum. And I was like, what in the world? I'm detoxing. On a, I mean, back then I wasn't detoxing. Like, it's just in my mind. I was just here and there a little bit. But I was getting rid of, um, like I said, um, pans and pots that were aluminum, like especially Teflon. Teflon can stay in the body for at least 10 years. Remember, Teflon, it's bad news. Okay, so um, I didn't know back then. I was just like here and there. But then I was like, where is this aluminum coming from? From the food, from even, you know, that back then I realized, oh my God, in the, in the toothpaste, right? Container of our toothpaste has aluminum. It's made out of plastic on the outside that inside is aluminum. It's everywhere. And can you fight this aluminum? Well, you can be aware, you become 
become conscious about that and you can kind of like okay make some choices some opinion some you know um choices like use what to use what not to use but then again we have to detox that so it's very important um so what i uh, i remember back then like many years ago also i was having like some pain in my breast but i was shaving back then yeah my arm uh, my armpits and I, after i was shaving i was using aluminum uh the other end with aluminum so i said no more that's it i can for a while i ditched the um deodorant even now you guys i very rarely use deodorants very rarely if i go to a party i would use some uh, some um, oh my goodness some deodorant but i make sure that is like clean one with uh, just make sure that you read the labels no soy no aluminum soy it's another bad news why because soy it's also connected with breast cancer especially the um Mod genetically modified soy because it's bad estrogen consider bad estrogen is xenoestrogen that's another another uh, harmful chemical you want to get rid of so make sure that you read the labels that's why for me it's like i'm not using it very very rarely i prefer to use oil of uh, magnesium i make my own oil of magnesium i would wash many times a day but the most important thing when i detox i notice that i don't smell that's the thing, you know, it's so beautiful. Um, if I, my, my sweat is kind of like smelly, uh, I make sure that I adjust my diet again, because sometimes I'm like, okay, I'm detoxing, maybe, you know, sometimes I would drink a beer here and there, maybe I would just like indulge myself in an ice cream once in a blue moon. But hey, it is what it is. I'm human, that's, that's very important for me to be human, but stay with what's right most of the time. I mean, I sin a little, like 30%, whatever percentage is, but then I try to stay on track the rest of the time, detoxing with intermittent fasting, cleansing the liver on the regular basis. I have a course for that, and you guys better come to the course, uh, be part of the course, I'm going to announce it. Um, so yeah, make sure that you are either using good deodorant with no aluminum and no soy, or you ditch and use some other things, okay? Um, so yeah. And another thing before I go into the answers of our beautiful group, our beautiful community, I want to say something else. Um, if you're using a deodorant and if it's got um, toxins in it, and if you are shaving before that, because, you know, we, we are women, we're shaving or we're waxing our underpins, we create some wounds here. And if you put the alum, if you put the deodorant with aluminum, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna go into your body through the skin fast because you get some wounds there. It's an open wound. So just make sure if you are shaving or waxing, do it at night. And then if you have to use deodorant, do it in the morning. So let some, you know, let some time heal. The wound heal. Okay, going to the next, to the, into the question, into the question, already we have the question, but into the answers, because it's amazing, I love these answers. So, uh, Julia is saying, I did talks from the other 10 years ago, no need for it. Yes, girl, I agree with you, that's what I'm saying, I don't need it. When you eat clean, you don't need the other, you don't need, your, your uh, sweat is not going to smell. Uh, Julia is asking, may I ask how? And then she's replying. So Mary is asking how, and then Julia is replying. I just stopped using it. I took all, it took almost two months to be completely free of it. Two months. See, two months. People are saying two months. Uh, it wasn't pretty, but anyone can do it. I agree with that. Okay, Mary is saying, and how did you fight the odor? Yes. How do you fight it, right? Um... I work with people who never wore it and they smell horrible. I work with them for two years. Um, if they smell horrible, I agree with that. And I had to deal with these people. These people are very toxic. If you are sweat, if you if you're smell, if you have a body odor, it's because the liver doesn't function properly. The liver is overburdened. It's overwhelmed with toxins and it screams for a detox. It screams for a detox, okay? That's definitely, it's a sign. Um, and then Julia is replying and she's saying, uh, just a lot of bathroom runs with wet wipes. It's worth it. That's what I do. If I, if, if I feel like I'm smelling a little bit, if I'm a little bit my sweat, 
Um, this is the thing. When I go through, you know, hardcore detox, like fasting and taking my tinctures and doing my cabbage soup, whatever it is, um, even if I go to the gym, I don't smell at all, at all. And I don't put anything. Um, I'm using saunas. That's another thing. I'm sweating through the sauna. And I try to use it like three, four times sometimes a week. And I noticed that. And another thing that I noticed like many, many years ago when I was eating meat, um, when I did, when I stopped eating meat, my, my breath didn't smell, my, my sweat didn't smell. That's another thing. Depends on the, the meat you eat. I'm not saying to what to eat, what not to eat. That's another story. And I don't want to get involved into that because there is already so much and I don't like it. Yeah. Meat eaters versus vegans, plant-based and so on and so forth. Everyone should do their own research and eat whatever they need according to their bodies. Okay. Um, somebody is replying to the question and it says nude, paste with silver. Nude, I don't know what that is. Uh, Tina is saying milk or magnesia with only two ingredients. I put it on a roller bottle so it's easy to apply or spray colloidal silver silver it kills bacteria yes colloidal silver is considered an antibiotic i don't i don't remember if i use it under my i don't know but i know that i use it i ingested it okay thank you tina for that so yeah she said she says oil of magnesium that's what i also use sometimes not all the time sometimes uh, michelle is saying i use limes and baking soda baking soda is a good one uh, limes, limes probably smell really fresh, but I would be really careful with citrus of any kind. Lime, lemon, uh, grapefruit. If you put it under peats and then you go in the sun and then expose it to the sun, you may burn. You may burn your skin. So be careful with citrus. The same thing for the essential oils. Do not wear essential oils if you're planning to go out in the sun. They will burn your skin. Down that, I know. Trust me, I learned it through the hard, the hard way. Crystal saying, I'm detoxing right now. I'm using glycolic acid 5% when I need to go out. It's week two right now, and I'm trying to put charcoal face mask on them to speed up the process. Wow, charcoal. Yes, charcoal is amazing. It's a great detoxifier. I never thought about that. Thank you, Crystal. That's amazing. Charcoal face masks. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, Jody is saying, usually none. Good girl. Once in a while, the, last, the latest says magnesium and aloe, aloe vera. Only wear it for some reasons and I plan on being nervous. Okay. Somebody is posting a picture of a deodorant and it's a natural deodorant. Michelle is posting the, this picture. Um, yeah, well, read the labels. That's, all, that's what I would do. Um, Kelly is saying Schmitz. Not sure how natural it is, but it doesn't have aluminum. And it works better than the homemade stuff I use for years. I don't break out from it from either. Okay, thank you for that. Melanie is saying baking soda. Okay. Uh, Jessica is saying usually none. When I go somewhere, I use one of the doTERRA brands. Yeah, doTERRA essential oils are great. Uh, many to choose and oil blend great. Uh, smells great. Awesome. Good to know. Anne is saying I never use deodorant in my life never girlfriend you're amazing Woohoo! parents never did wow you are unique well it's our culture i don't know where Annie is from but she says it's our culture and if you stink clean up the diet or or what i totally agree yeah clean up your diet detoxing yeah watch what you eat okay um right the sweat doesn't stink if the inside is clean Lily is replying. <laughs> I, I reply to her. Uh, Matea is saying Nelly pot from Slovenia, but they have sodium bicarbonate inside most of them, and I still don't know if it's a good one to put on the under pits. I don't know, girl. You have to try it on and check it out. Tony is saying Malaluka. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Malaluka. Malaluka. It's it's the honey, the Australian honey, right? Malaluka. I use Malaluca for, for a while, Erin is saying, but it clogged the lymph nodes. Hmm, honey clogs the lymph nodes. Hmm, I, think, I think it makes sense, right? And the lymph nodes and the pores in my armpits 
and I got an infection from it. Ooh, not bueno. I detox from deodorants after that, and if I do need anything, I just make my own with pure baking soda and distilled water, or I use a lime. Baking soda with distilled water, I think spray it underneath, it's perfect. I mean, baking soda, you put, you, you know what, it's used to put in the fridge, if the fridge is like stinky, if it smells, and then in a day or two, it, it just absorbs the, the odor. So I know it makes sense, it's good. And then again, she says lime. A lot of people are saying lime, but you gotta be careful with citrus on the skin if you go in the sun. I mean, yeah. Tony is saying yakis. Do you remember which kinds of Malaluka brands? I have my hub using it that. Uh, and Erin is replying every single one of them. The same for my husband. He no longer uses deodorant either. Uh, okay. Or laundry detergent and I'm worried. Okay. Cheryl is sharing a deodorant which is called crystal deodorant okay so crystal deodorant stick 3003 or 30003 unscented white okay and then Bonnie is saying she's using the same and then Macassie is saying she's using that one so crystal deodorant check it out you guys crystal deodorant uh, I'll have to check it out as well Nancy is saying she's using lemon um, uh, Ashley is saying she's using Dr. Schmidt's charcoal and magnesium deodorant and have, she says that she's been using it for years and it has arrowroot powder. Powerful stuff. Thank you, Ashley. That's awesome. Good to know. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Boo is saying, I hate deodorant. Don't blame you, girl. I can never completely wash it from my skin, no matter how hard. Try, I dread putting it on, but I know that I don't want to be stinky. I know, I got you. That's why I use it very, very rarely. Sometimes I use essential oils. I just like mix in a, a little bit of water with some spray, and I just mix a lot of... You know, I got a lot of compliments from my essential oils, actually. So, people asking, what kind of perfume do you use? It's like, yeah say it but i use essential ways and i like to combine them and it's fun it's fun um and i like citrus essential oils because they're very uh positive very uplifting i really love grapefruit juice uh, to drink of course but i love grapefruit um essential oil again if i go out in during the night not during the day okay um uh, claire is saying absolutely I gave up any kind of deodorant due to the toxins and I take two showers if I need a little Epsom salt and water and on a dishcloth and I, it can work uh, when desperate. Good to know. So yeah, more showers. I'm sometimes I would wash like a couple of times if I need to. Virginia is sharing a deodorant it's called Native, which is fun. Thank you, Virginia, for sharing that. Brenda is saying, I make my own with coconut oil and baking soda. Awesome. Erin uh, is saying, depends where you are. I'm in the UK and I use Wild. I don't know what that is. Maybe Wild, it's the name of the other, I don't know. Angelica is saying, none. Good girlfriend. Uh, she says, don't need any on a fruit lifestyle. Ooh, lucky you, just fruits. I would love to live on an island and just eat fruit all day long. I love fruits. Then definitely you're not going to need the deodorant. Okay, she's saying, Angelica saying she hasn't used one in years. No fluoride toothpaste either. My teeth are brilliant. Agree with you 100% on the no fluoride toothpaste. I ditch fluoride maybe 20 years ago, if not even, yeah, a long time ago. No problems. So, yep, I agree with you. No fluoride toothpaste. Yeah, get rid of that fluoride as well. Uh, Melissa is saying native. So, that's the brand. It's the second person that's saying native. Okay, native one. Gary is saying gun bore cleaner. Gun bore cleaner. I don't know what that is. Isabella is saying, watch your shirts when you are testing them out. Some are leaving major oil stains. Uh, when you detox, you don't need uh, deodorant, really. 
Nola is saying magnesium oil. Yes, girlfriend, I use that as well and it works. I love it. I actually spray it on my skin when I needed a little bit of extra magnesium. Uh, essential oils. Yes, I use rose water or sometimes I would use um, something else. I forgot. I think lavender water. Yeah. Um, Donna is saying Thursday Island tea tree. Hmm. Alice is Alice is saying nothing. She's also saying alkaline foods. And then detox, it clean, regular showers, no need for deodorant. There you have it. There you have it. This is what our community is saying. And I really appreciate and I'm so grateful for our community. And I hope you're going to join if you haven't joined yet. And that's our discussion for today. Hope you're having a great time. And let me know what deodorant you use or if you are not using and then you are replacing with something else let me know what you are using i'm curious this is a great uh, discussion topic and then we're trying to get healthy because the world is sick and we need to heal the world by healing ourselves by detoxing ourselves and cheers to your health guys namaste blessings i'll see you next time